In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Zorro to connect to Forex Capital Markets, also known as FXCM, an FX broker with a near global presence. We'll be just connecting to a demo account, but the process for connecting to a real account is almost exactly the same. Where there's a difference, I'll be sure to let you know. Some good things about FXCM are that they offer a suite of index and commodity CFD markets, and their historical price data is of a fairly good quality. Plus, it's free and available for download via the API, which we can access with Zorro. I'll show you how to download FXCM's historical data in another video. FXCM had some troubles in the US recently and no longer operate there. I don't know the full story of what happened, only what I read in the news and the SEC filings. If you're interested, you can find that information with a simple web search. I'm not going to go into it or offer an opinion. What I can say is that FXCM's subsidiary companies, which operate in many countries including Australia, appear to have moved on from those issues. I've personally dealt with some of the executives from FXCM Australia in the time since their parent company's run-in with the SEC, and I've found them to be very client-focused and keen to build a solid, reputable business. Even if you never trade with FXCM, having a demo account with them provides access to the historical data library, so it is worth considering. Be aware that a demo account with FXCM, with no trading for a period of one month, will be deactivated but you can create as many demo accounts as you like. With Zorro, we can actually trade with FXCM via an MT4 terminal or with a direct API connection using Zorro's FXCM API plugin. The API connection is preferable because you'll get less latency in your execution, lower spreads, and the ability to trade currencies with minimum volume. The first thing you need to do is head over to the FXCM website, fxcm.com, which will redirect you to the website of your local FXCM subsidiary if one exists. Then we click on Practice Account at the top right of the screen. We are then directed to this form, which we'll need to fill in in order to create a demo account. Clicking Trade Now provides us with our account login and password, which we'll also receive via email. Just be aware that if this is the first time you've given FXCM your details, someone from the company will probably contact you at some point. The account login and password are the details I'll need to give to Zorro in order to access this account via the FXCM API, so store them somewhere or add them to your account CSV file if you have Zorro S. More on this shortly. If I'm using the free version of Zorro, I need to paste my account login number in the user field of the broker section of the Zorro interface. Obviously, the password goes in the password field. I also need to select Demo from the Account drop-down menu and the FXCM plugin. Now I can log into my FXCM practice account with the free version of Zorro. If I'm using Zorro S, it's much more convenient to add the account details to my account's CSV file, located in the history folder of my Zorro installation. For an introduction to this file, see the introductory videos that came earlier in this series. If I open my account's CSV file,
You can see the account details I need to add in order to access this account using FXCM's API. I'm just going to call this account FXCM Demo. But the name doesn't matter, it's just for your reference. Likewise, the broker field is just for your reference and doesn't actually affect Zorro's behavior. The account field, we keep at zero. In the user field, we add our account login, which I'm just going to copy and paste from the website. And of course, in the pass field, we enter our password. We'll also tell Zorro to use the default assets fix CSV file, which will provide the trading conditions that we would like to simulate with this account. FXCM was the first broker that Zorro implemented an API plugin for several years ago. For that reason, the default asset names that you find in assets fix when you first install Zorro are the ones directly used by FXCM and we don't need to do any conversion via the symbols field like we did for some of Oanda's symbols. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, you can find more detail in the video on configuring Zorro to connect to Oanda. But in summary, we sometimes need to map instrument names that Zorro understands from the default assets fix CSV file to instrument names that a specific broker uses, since many brokers use different names for the same instrument. For example, FXCM calls the CFD over the German DAX index, GER30, while Oanda calls it DE30 slash EUR. We don't need to do any symbol mapping for FXCM if we use the default naming convention in Assets Fix CSV that came with your Zorro installation, since that file uses FXCM's naming convention. You can see that the instrument names in the name field of Assets Fix CSV match the instrument names in the Zorro Asset drop-down menu. Anyway, back to our account CSV file. The currency of this account is Australian dollars. The account is also a demo account. So I put a zero in the real field. If it was a real account, I'd put a one. I'm not a US resident, so usually my FX trading accounts aren't affected by the NFA rule, which effectively prohibits hedging. That means that I normally put a zero in the NFA field. If your account is affected by this rule, you'd need to set that value to 14. And finally, I tell Zorro to use the FXCM plugin To access this account. I need to save this file and restart Zorro in order for these changes to take effect. Now I can go ahead and connect my Zorro S instance to my FXCM demo account. And I do that by selecting the account that we just entered in account CSV, selecting a script, and clicking trade. And you can see that Zorro has successfully connected and is now trading this script. Now, as with any situation where you're connecting to someone else's server and software tools, there are some specific issues related to FXCM that you should be aware of. Firstly, some users have reported that the account equity returned by the FXCM API can become out of sync with the actual equity in the account. 
leading to an incorrect account equity, that's this value, being displayed in Zorro. As far as I know, FXCM is working to fix this bug in their API. Another issue with the FXCM API is that occasionally we can end up with something that's become known as an orphaned trade. This is a trade that has been opened by Zorro, but for which Zorro never received confirmation that it was actually opened or rejected by the FXCM server. Without that confirmation message, Zorro can't handle the trade. However, when this happens, Zorro will display a message in the window saying possibly orphaned trade. When that happens, simply open FXCM's trading account, either TradingStation or MetaTrader 4, and look for the orphaned trade. If there's a trade that appears in the platform but not in Zorro's trade list, which you can find in the log file, and which is also output to the message window, you should close it manually in FXCM's platform. While FXCM is a really good source of free data, one limitation is that its servers typically go down over the weekend. This is fine for Zorro in trading mode, as it will automatically reconnect whenever the server comes back up and continue trading where it left off. But it does mean that you won't be able to download FXCM's historical data over the weekend, only while the servers are up and running. So if you plan to do some research over the weekend, make sure to get your data before the servers go down. Finally, the PC or server that you are using to connect to FXCM via API must not be restarted or put into sleep mode while connected. Otherwise, the API will crash and you'll need to restart Zorro. Also note that the instruments that appear in the assets fixed CSV file that come shipped with Zorro are the ones used by FXCM and show up in the assets scroll box on the Zorro interface. I'll show you in another video how to automatically update your FXCM assets file with the latest trading conditions, swaps, FX rates, spreads, and the like. And that's it. That's all you need to know to connect Zorro to an FXCM account and start reaping the benefits of API trading.